This is A.E. Chandler, behind the scenes with the Glenville Museum's military collection. And today we're going to be talking about some of the major distinctions that we make when we talk about armor. So the first distinction that we would usually make is whether we're looking at a suit of armor or a harness. And a suit of armor would have a bunch of different elements that you could either add or substitute in. Uh, for example, if you were jousting, and the opponent is aiming at your left side, you want to make sure that you would have extra plates on that side that uh, could be bolted on so that you could protect yourself. Whereas if you're going into battle, then your goal would be to be lighter and more maneuverable. So either a harness or a suit. And the next distinction we would make would be whether it is a full harness which means that it goes from top to toe, or if it is a half armor, meaning that it goes from your head to part way down the uh, thigh, or if it's a three-quarter harness, like this guy. He has a breastplate with pendant tassels that terminate just below the knee and he would have had uh, knee-length leather boots to protect his shins rather than actual plate armor. So you can either have a suit of armor or a harness, and either a full harness, a half armor, or a three-quarter harness. If you're interested in more original history, you can check out the other videos on this channel or my historical novel, the Scarlet Forest, A Tale of Robin Hood, available at the Glenville Gift Shop and Chapters, Amazon, and Kobo. Thanks.